benefits from the support of our loved ones. Who presents this woman and gives their blessing that these two shall be married? I asked them to tell me why they were marrying each other. Why in the world she picked this man, why he picked this beautiful woman. And what Pat told me about Cindy, he said, Cindy has three traits that I most value in a person. She is caring, she is trustworthy, and she's honest. Cindy and I both have very independent parts of our lives. But at the end of the day, we don't have to worry about our relationship and where we stand with each other. She simply has just a big heart. I watched her be willing to help anyone, and I just love that about her. Cindy told me about Pat. Well, I want to marry Pat because he cares about people. He's loving. He stays humble. And in a relationship, I know trust is the one thing you need, and I know I can tr trust him completely. He makes me feel like I am loved to the moon and back. He's my family, my lover, and my best friend. And that's, that's a pretty good foundation, I would say, to start a relationship, to start a marriage. Patrick, from this day forward, do you choose Cindy to be your wife, your best friend, and your partner, to live together, play together, and laugh together? Pat, you promise to work by her side and dream in her arms. Will you support, honor, and defend her as a sign of your love and your commitment? Cindy, from this day forward, do you choose Pat to be your husband, your best friend, and your partner? To live together, play together, and laugh together? I do. Do you promise to work by his side and dream in his arms? Will you support honor and defend him as a sign of your love and commitment. I do. And so now I get the pleasure of for the first time getting to introduce you all to Mr. and Mrs. Feldhaus. Pat, you may kiss that bride.
to celebrate this beautiful new marriage. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Billy. I'm Cindy's little sister, and I'm her maid of honor. Cindy <laughs> and I's relationship has always been solid. She's my best friend and a person that inspires me. A person who I've always leaned on. <laughs> Through the years, she taught me so many things and to just reach for the stars. I remember when she called me to tell me she was going on a date with Pat and it was to the Bengals game. I was thinking, okay, Pat, good first move. <laughs> if you know my sister, you know that she loves the Bengals. Fast forward, she flew to Maryland to be with me when Liam, our firstborn, arrived. Pat came a few days later. It was during his visit that I witnessed his unconditional love for her. It was in the way that he looked at her, held and kissed her, and simply just supported her. I knew then he was the perfect man for her. Pat, thank you so much for loving my sister in the way that she deserves. I have the most incredible sister, and tonight I have gained the most incredible brother. I love you both so, so much. I want to end with a quote. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times over and always with the same person. So everyone, please raise your glass and joining them, joining me, them a lifetime of love and happiness. I love you guys. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming. Um, if you don't know, this is my twin brother. <laughs> for 39 years, he's been my best friend. Uh, Cindy came in um, eight years ago and uh, started dating him. And for for the first three years, I think it was I was I was babe. I think I was babe. <laughs> but uh, five years ago, five or six years ago, Pat and I are sitting at the, on the couch in his house, and she comes in. And she says, "Babe, I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you." <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> If everybody could get a uh, get their glass, uh, congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Taste the